I'm Dr. Shelley Soltis, family medicine physician at Grand Itasca Clinic and Hospital. I typically see female patients um, younger, um, but I can see anyone from before they're born in mom's tummy all the way through geriatrics and even in nursing home patients. Relationships are important in our everyday lives. Uh, they contribute to the health we have or can contribute um, to our unhealthy habits as well. Signs of an unhealthy relationship can be um, being controlled by your significant other, fear or not wanting to be around your significant other, controlling of resources, most commonly money, um, where one partner is only in control of the money, um, poor, poor communication between each other, and also not being allowed to do other activities that you used to enjoy doing, seeing friends or family members um, that you uh, otherwise would normally enjoy doing. Uh, abuse in relationships can look like anything. Uh, we are most commonly used to looking for physical abuse, which can show up as bruises and uh, threats to being hurt um, by your significant other. Uh, it can be sexual abuse, where you're forced to have intercourse against your will. Um, but more commonly, you know, the subtle ones are emotional and verbal abuse, and those are not as easily seen. They can be um, that control um, of resources, money, um, not being allowed to leave the house, restricted from participating in certain things with friends, family members, and also just being called names as well. Uh, emotional abuse and verbal abuse can present as uh, increased stress to your body in forms of migraine, uh, abdominal pain, um, lack of sleep, anxiety, other mental health uh, disorders can also kind of become uh, more apparent when we are under significant emotional or verbal abuse. Professional help can be sought for abuse or unhealthy relationships anytime you feel uncomfortable. Uh, if you know that your relationship is going in the wrong direction with bad communication, um, sometimes it's better to get ahead of it, have counseling, and turn that relationship around to become an, a healthy relationship. If you are in the abuse situation, we ask that you get uh, professional help sooner than later, um, especially if you feel like your safety, if there's children involved, their safety is, in, um, is at, um, at risk. Uh, if you have a friend that's being abused, uh, we recommend being there to be a uh, help for them. Um, you know, taking your time, being a listening ear, help with transportation, watch their children um, if they're getting help. But things that you can watch for um, would be uh, activity or behavior changes in them. The other important thing is if you are close with them, you can be their safety person create a word or a phrase or a safe time to talk with them privately and so that they are able to um, let you know if the relationship is actually taking a turn for the worst. So if you are a victim of domestic abuse, um, there are multiple ways to get help. Being at Grand Itasca, we have nurses and doctors who are very well trained in helping manage um, your situation. So I would encourage contacting out, reaching out, phone calls, um, my chart messages to your doctor. Any school counselor um, is willing to also help you as a participation of the entire family unit. Um, there is also a national hotline. Uh, it's 1-800-799-SAFE, S-A-F-E. Grand Itasca Clinic and Hospital, your partner in health.